today I've got the Toyota Corolla which you can see behind me so it's going to be a quick review today so what I'm going to do is first of all take you around the car and then we'll jump in have a quick look inside then I'll take it for a quick drive so let's find out what this Toyota Corolla is like. So as you can see the Toyota Corolla it's a, this is a basic model of the Accent here it's even got the hubcaps on there so you don't even have the proper wheels there so as we take you around here we can see it's got that Toyota Corolla back there if you don't mind there this one's as I said, very, very basic looking. Got the single exhaust there on the right. This has got the rear view camera in the back there that you can see there. And just actually taking you off the way, you can go through the There's a bit of wildlife over there. Uh, and we're just having a back a look around the side there. You can see it's got the fin antenna there on the side. A few little lines on there. I don't mind the look of this, um, this sort of Corolla there. Uh, but again, it's sort of plain looking. And, you don't really, nothing really flashy or anything like that. And those sort of front sort of lights are starting to become sort of that Toyota look, like the Camrys come out with those sort of similar lights and things like that as well. So back around here uh, to have a look at the car again from the outside. And what we'll do is we'll just jump in quickly and I'll just show you what, it, what it's like inside the car. So inside the car here, um, you can see it's got the dash, there, pretty basic dash. You've got that Toyota sort of look there with that, that screen. This doesn't have any, any Apple CarPlay, so it is very basic. I was a bit surprised this morning when I jumped in and I didn't have any Apple CarPlay there. So yeah, a bit disappointing with. Not too much on the menus to sort of talk about there, just the basic menus. And you've got, this one's just got air conditioning there. You've got one USB socket there. You've got a 12 volt plug. You've got the gearbox, it's got Tiptronic there. And then you've got your sports mode that you can put in the traction control. Standard handbrake on this one. The seats, they're actually quite racy. They, they tighten you in, in quite a fair bit. So this is just a standard fabric. And then just having a look around the cabin there. A very sort of Toyota feel and things to the cabin. It's got obviously electric windows there. Uh, and the, the, mirror, the mirror buttons there. But yeah, really, that's basically it. So we'll quickly jump inside in the back. And then I'll show you what it's like in the back of the car. So in the back now reasonable amount of room in here i wouldn't want five adults in here on a long trip it'd be it'd be a bit squeezed in there but I'm comfortable for, for two adults definitely and so enough headroom and things like that there so yeah that's the back as i said a quick review today so we'll take you around and have a okay so just having a look at the boot space here um this one seems to have a broken uh, parcel tray there uh, so the back here you've got enough for probably about two suitcases no 12 volt sockets or anything a few little cargo compartments there that you can see and have a look at but yeah that's a boot it's a manual close here so no auto close uh, so yeah that's that's the outside and the inside so let's now find out what it's actually like to drive so now driving the toyota corolla but there's not a huge amount to get excited about in this car it's like to sort of rave about when driving it so it is a basic model but is the technology there is a talk about is the rear view camera and traction control which comes in pretty much any car these days so no lane assist no front end assist and not any other technology to talk about which i think is a bit strange right across one of the best selling cars you'd think that they sort of would throw in all this stuff like you drive on a i30 and it's got most of that stuff as standard and this toyota crawler doesn't so yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a no-no for me but thumbs down for me for that part so what else is about this car? So the stereo system in it, it's really not too great. It's not, I would say low end. It's not the worst one I've heard, but it's definitely not the best. The steering in the car, handling, it's okay. Not great again. The brakes in the car aren't bad. That, that's probably one of the positive things I can say about this car. The brakes are all right. Uh, performance of the engine, fairly average seems to rev out even under low load in the car the vision around the cars is actually good i think there's no places that it's really difficult to have a blind spot or anything but as i said as you saw before it's really really basic there so there's really not much to speak about this car not as i said before i'm gonna get excited so it's, it's a pretty quick video today uh so i guess all in all what i think that i've never been a massive fan of a toyota corolla and this hasn't done it any justice either so this yeah no, nothing to say oh that's changed my mind after driving this car 
uh, you've seen that pothole there, you, you, you feel the, the, the car jump up and down there. So, yeah, not, not, not a fan of this car, unfortunately. 